Let's change gears to ace to five, triple draw, low ball. Uh, it's a draw game, actually a triple draw game, as it states in its name. And this is important because a lot of the most popular mixed games are triple draw format. And this is probably the simplest uh, form of triple draw because there's only one winner. It's low only, hence the term low ball. And you can draw up to five cards uh, up to three times. That is encouraged, by the way. You will always get invited back to a mixed game if you draw five. Um, and ace is low and the pictures are in rank. So they don't equal 10 like a jack beats a queen. People aren't often drawing to jacks or queens. But at the end, if two people draw, that can come into play. Ace, two, three, four, five, the wheel as it's known is the nut. And then the next best hand is ace, two, three, four, six, otherwise known as number two for the second best low. Then ace, two, three, five, six, uh, ace, two, four, five, six, and so on. Uh, straights and flushes are okay. And what I mean by that is they don't hurt you. They don't help you. They don't hurt you. We're just really going for low rank of all cards. So let's get into a hand. So we're simulating here that the preflop action has already happened, meaning I've given everybody their original five cards and they've bet, and now we're doing draws. That person looks like they're drawing three, this person two, and this person one. And it's worth noting that the proper way to deal cards on the draw is not to pitch, but to slap them down and then slide them. And that way you don't have any paint flashing. Uh, as long as you could do it quickly, this is simulating the turn, right? Looks like we did two, one, one. And you always know what draw you're on by the amount of burn. So that was the second draw. I'm gathering the chips. This is the third draw or the river. They actually call it the river. Looks like I pitched it that time, one and one and pat. Uh, since all three draws are out, I'm gathering all the bets. I'm dropping the deck. And now we're going to do a showdown. So what we have here is we have a straight six. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, we have a smooth seven. Ace, two, three, four, seven. The smoothest of sevens. It's a little blurry there, but that's ace, three, five, six, seven, which is a little bit of a rough seven. And they actually do call it a rough seven. And so what wins? Well, Pretty obviously you count from the top down. And so, you know, two people would go seven. And if you have the rough seven there and you say, I have a seven, and then somebody says seven what? That's not really a good question if you're holding ace three, five, six, seven. There are rougher sevens. You could have a straight seven, three, four, five, six, seven. But when, this, when your seven goes seven, six, five, it's a pretty rough seven. Versus the smooth seven under it, ace, two, three, four, seven, you can't have a better seven. So when you say smooth seven very proudly and somebody else says six, even though that's the roughest six or the worst six, a six is still a six. And again, as we noted uh, beforehand, the straight doesn't count against you. And there's no bonus points for it. Not in this game, but this is a great segue towards Archie.